Hi, Pam Friedevelt here, your online emotional health coach, and we're continuing a series on letting go of anger and frustration. Now, if you're joining us today for the very first time, please go back and catch video one because there's some good tips in there when we kicked off the series. So the first tip I wanna to cover today is number one, Anger is like a flashing light on the dashboard of your car. It's just telling you that something is wrong and it needs attention. Anger is not a bad emotion. And it's not something that you wanna to try to completely get rid of or hide or be ashamed of. Anger is actually a survival reflex that we instinctively use when we're faced with some sort of threat. God created us with this emotion. And number two, you learned your anger style. How did you do that? By observing the people that you grew up around. You watched your parents, you watched your siblings, you watched others responded, responding to situations, and then you just mimicked their behavior. You tried your hand at influencing your environment and you learned what did and didn't work. Now, when I was growing up, I didn't see a lot of anger in my family. I was the oldest of three kids and my brother and sister were four and six years younger than I was. So we didn't have a lot of sibling rivalry. And my parents rarely displayed anger. In fact, the most anger I think I can remember my mom showing was when she dropped a hammer on her toe and she yelled, hell's bells. And that was my mom blowing up. Now my dad got a little hot and bothered now and then, especially when we were talking politics around the dinner table or when he was watching the Army-Navy game and Navy wasn't winning, or when he was trying to get the rest of us in the car and we were late. But that was pretty much the exception. Now that does not mean my parents didn't have problems or arguments. They just tended to keep their conflicts private and they tended to handle them quietly. Now this is interesting when you have differences in marriage because my husband was raised in a family with very different dynamics. In fact, he was a third of five kids and they were born very close together. And so there were plenty of squabbles within his, you know, the sibling rivalry and his family was super expressive. So he tends to express things much more openly and loudly. Iron sharpens iron, right? <laughs> So I'll talk more about navigating those differences in anger in a later episode. But the point is, we learn how to feel and express our emotions from those around us when we're growing up. I remember hearing about uh, Tommy Bolt, who was described as the angriest golfer in the history of the game. And he was giving a lesson to a group of golfers and teaching them how to hit the ball out of the sand trap. And he called his 11 year old son over and he said, show the people what your father taught you about what to do when your ball lands in the sand. And the young boy picked up the golf club and he threw it as hard and as fast as his little arm would let him. He obviously learned his lesson well. <laughs> now, you may know that you have a problem with anger because it's just too obvious for anyone to miss or you may disguise your anger so it's a lot more subtle. Maybe you brood about somebody that hurt you or you pull in and withdraw and kind of get into that self-pity and critical thinking. Or maybe you give people the silent treatment or control or withhold your love. Maybe you use sarcasm or just cutting hostile humor or you gossip about people. That's a form of anger. So whatever anger style you have, much of it is learned. And the good news is here. If you learned that, you can learn new skills to replace it. And you can start right here and right now. First, by simply acknowledging your anger style. Just make a decision. Who do you want to become? And how do you want to live going forward? What do you want your anger expressions to look like? What transformation do you want to see in yourself? Take a minute and answer that question. What's your anger style? Do you tend to hold things in or spew it? Do you fight or flight? Or are you kind of a combo where you just hold things in for a long time and then one little tiny thing kind of lights your fuse and you erupt like a volcano? I want to invite you just to comment below on whatever your anger style is, what do you lean towards, and describe the transformation that you'd like to see in your expressions of anger. See, you and God 
in partnership together, that is possible. Now, next time we'll cover the three most common triggers and what you can do to turn down the heat. If you like these tips, there's a lot more in the weeks ahead. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can be notified whenever we come out with a new video like this. And then head on over to panfreedevelt.com and see what new gifts and, and free resources we have available for you. And until next time, take good care of you.